Okay, so let's do an example of drawing Lewis structures. Let's start with this molecule N2O2, okay, which is dinitrogen dioxide. Okay, so I am just going to give you the information that the two nitrogens are connected together with the oxygens each connected to a nitrogen, okay? But let's go ahead and draw the best Lewis structure for this molecule. So what's the first thing we need to do? Well, we need to add up the valence electrons that are present in the molecule. So let's go ahead and check our periodic table, and we see for nitrogen, there are five valence electrons, okay? And there's two of those, okay? And we're going to add to that two times the six valence electrons for oxygen. So that's oxygen, this is nitrogen, and we just get those from the periodic table. Okay, and that's going to give us 22 valence electrons to work with in this molecule. So let's go ahead and connect this guy together. Okay, so as I mentioned, okay, the two nitrogens are bonded together. We're going to bond an oxygen to each side. Okay, now we have to stop for a second here because we have to, we've used up some of our electrons that we need to distribute out into this Lewis structure, okay? So we've used up two, four, six because each one of those single bonds includes two electrons. So the next step, we just need to distribute the rest of the electrons in the molecule, and we're going to start from the outer atoms, and we're going to go in, okay? So we've used up six, okay? So eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, okay, we have four left, so I'm going to go 20 and 22, okay? So now, does everybody have an octet right now? So oxygen has eight electrons around it, both oxygens do, but look at nitrogen. Nitrogen only has six, right? The two single bonds plus the lone pair. So that means that we're going to have to move some electrons around to make sure that nitrogen has an octet, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and change colors here, and then let's um, go ahead and rope this pair of electrons, and we're going to make that into a double bond here between oxygen and nitrogen, and I'm going to do it on both sides, okay? And then redraw it, okay? So here's showing our changes. Okay, so now we have nitrogens, each with a lone pair of three bonds, okay, and the oxygens double bonded to nitrogen and two lone pairs, so everybody has an octet in this Lewis structure. Now, are we done? No, we are not done because we need to calculate the formula, formal charge on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so oxygen, let's just look at this guy, although they're both the same, so we can use the, the same procedure, okay, um, and actually only calculate it once. Let's go ahead and mentally break this bond. Remember, we're not really doing it, okay? Break those bonds, and then now we're going to take the number of valence electrons that oxygen has, okay, which is six, minus the number that it is assigned in the structure, which is, it gets to keep its lone pair, so that's four, five, six, one from each of, the, of that double bond, okay? So one from each bond in the double bond, I should say. Okay, so that would be another six electrons, so when we add that up, we're gonna get zero. So that's our formal charge for both oxygens, since they are the same bonding. They have the same bonding pattern, so that satisfies both of them, okay? So formal charge is zero for oxygen. Let's do the same thing with nitrogen. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, and let's go ahead and count up the number in nitrogen. So we have one from the single bond, two from the double bond, so that's three, plus the lone pair, that's five electrons assigned. And if we take 5 minus 5, then we get formal charge of 0 on that also. Okay? So overall, this Lewis structure has, uh, this Lewis structure has 
zero formal charge everywhere, okay? And so let's just go ahead and draw our final structure, including the formal charge. Running out of room there a little bit. Okay, so here's our final structure.